Just currently sat down having a dinner. Check out that mess. <laughs> That's my dinner. Nothing more than a bit of lovely dinner. Hey. So I just got done from work. Well, I've been here for a while now. I finished work at half one. And, uh... Make sure I've got no food in my beard. No, cool. And, um, just currently chilling out before I go on Xbox and start doing a, a, uh, a stream. A beam stream. And, um... Some things only just really occurred to me. I was just thinking, I was just looking back. I've been through a lot. I've been through one hell of a lot. And, um... When I've been through a lot, it's sort of... I'm just speaking into a camera, saying what I'm doing it's uh, I've come a long way I've started straight from the bottom I've started right from the bottom and now I'm here it's um, one hell of a roller coaster pretty much you start off slow you speed up you go down you go back up and you spin right around and you're going through like a middle section of where you're just constantly spinning round and round and round and then till well till till things go up go down go fast or go slow my life has been a roller coaster ride, and it still is. It's very, um, it is challenging. It is a bit of a challenge, challenge my life. But it's, uh, I'm slowly getting there. And, uh, even from the littlest support that I have, it's, um, well, People are making videos on this channel, on this uh, website, YouTube, generally have everything. They've got cars, far, they've got fast cars, they've got money, they've got houses, they've got things that they have, they've got things that they earn, they've got things that they need. Well, that they don't necessarily need, but they decide to uh, spend to reach their dreams. Here's me, sat in my bed thinking, someone's not happy, Jesus, and um, just thinking, you know, I'm not, I don't have a desk to sit on, I don't even have a home to call a home, <laughs> you know? All these fancy YouTubers that have got like 13 million subscribers and have a house and have their own places and their own stuff to do. Good on you, you know. Good on you. You're one of the lucky ones in life that made it. A lot of people... I've noticed a lot of like people that are homeless they sort of once you instantly turn once you turn homeless you're pretty much uh, on everyone else's page of the stereotype of oh he's homeless because he done drugs or oh he's homeless because he's an alcoholic or oh, he's homeless because uh, of certain things but I'm homeless because well, I've said in past videos and stuff. Just. Yeah. Just sometimes you have to make an escape, and no matter what escape you got, you have to make it. And. 
even if it's a very hard escape because you don't want to leave your parents because you love them and you want to stay with them and stuff but it's like birds birds have got to leave the nest I left the nest I've got bugger all now <laughs> but I'm doing well a lot of people have said you know like I've said in the past videos as well like a lot of people uh, my friends and stuff have said oh how are you still coping you're in like a bad situation you know it's like I'm your friend I, I, I can go home I've got a house to go home to I've got a car I've got everything but yeah it's like you've got the only thing you've got is friends and a good social life and that's what I um I suppose in a sense I like having a good social life because it sort of brings me together with people and it also I also feel in a sense of how would you say I can't think of the word but anyways just sort of I feel better because like you know I've started from the ground up and I'm working up and I'm slowly getting there and stuff and you know life is hard and when you're at a situation like I am you start to realize how hard life is you know I mean I've seen a lot of things in windows and stuff of shops that I've wanted to buy but I've, I went to I that time when I went to Ikea I saw a sofa bed that I really wanted to get but I can't get because I don't have a house to call my own it's very uh, hard it's very hard but we all get through tough times no matter how hard the times can be tough it's only the strong minds that get through the really really strong times and I will admit I have trained my brain to get through these hard times it's um you know I've, I've had a lot of friends in the past that I've sort of had to say fuck off ski to because they haven't really been good friends you know it's uh the only sort of friends that I really need are the re reliable trustworthy honest friends you know you can't have someone that will just you know end up asking to borrow money off you or I don't know someone that will uh, just take you for take take you for advantage. And I have had that in the past. I've had a lot of people take my uh, honesty, my trust, and my kindness and helpfulness to advantage. And uh, all the people that did, I've now said um, on your bike because it's. I don't need them sort of friends anymore. I need loyal, trustworthy friends. People that don't lie. I can't stand friends that lie. Any friend that lied to me, I would honestly... Anyone that lied to me, I would just... Wouldn't even call them my friend. I'd call them a betrayer. Because anyone that lies to you is a betrayer. No matter what it is, they just will betray you. But anyway, I've got to eat my lush. I've got to eat my uh, dinner before it gets cold. It probably is cold now anyway. Bon appetit. See you guys later.